For more on the significance of the International Youth Day, let's talk to the president, I Swift Africa, Michael Lamoso, who joins us live from Arabuja Studios. Michael, intergenerational solidarity, which is the theme for this year's International Youth Day, uh, speaks to the degree of closeness and support between the older generation and the younger ones. How much of that would you say is happening here in Nigeria? Do you see the older generation willing to on board and to carry younger ones al along? Thank you very much for having me. So first off, we must first clear the fact that um, in nowhere in the world do we have the older generation given the opportunity and the power to young people a la carte. So importantly, I would say that the young people um, conversely have been trying their best possible to make sure that the uh, get involved in whatever happened politically, um, social impact wise, and many wise. So it, it, that's happening, and the powers are shifting across all boards, politically, and many in, in, in all areas. You know, the, 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 the thing is shifting. Many young people are getting involved. If you go around Abuja today, you find many events being held today for the IYD, and you find many young people getting involved because they don't understand that this is their time to get involved in the, directing the trajectory of the country in Nigeria. A lot is happening, I must say. I'd like you to speak to just how prepared you think young people are. I, I know that you lead a student organization that focuses on empowering young people uh, for the workplace. Are you proud of majority of your contemporaries? How ready would you say that majority of young people in Nigeria are to take uh, leadership in different aspects, for instance, within the country? Well, well, thank you. There's a room for improvement. We must not deny that fact. It's uncontestable. But importantly, I must say that the young people, as the day comes and go, are getting more involved and building more capacity, you know, to make sure the function of the global workspace, I mean, in many areas. I think when I look at the youth of Nigeria, I think there's a thing of hope for us. I think that there's a lot happening. I think there's a lot of realization on the part of the Nigerian youth seeing that um, the landmarks are changing and they now see that the beating of leadership across board is coming to them. I think that the young people in Nigeria are, really, are, so, are so ready for what is happening soon, for, for what's happening soon across all board. Yes, when I look at Nigerian youth inclusive of myself, I'm proud of what we have. Of course, there are room for improvement, and that's what South Africa is doing across board. But, there, but, but there's a lot that the Nigerian youth is already doing right now. If you check around, you find many people delivering solutions in the fintech, community-wise, leadership. You find the young people getting into offices, contesting for offices, getting appointed into meaningful roles. I think it's something that is laudable, and I think that Nigerian youths are more than before now ready to, um, to get involved. We have to go now, but I'd like you to talk uh, very quickly to the fact of concerns. Are you particularly concerned about what appears to be the overwhelming urge for young Nigerians to leave the country, what they call the Jackpot Syndrome? Do you think that younger, young people need to look more inward uh, into what Nigeria has to offer as against seeking every opportunity to leave the shores of Nigeria. I have always held that opinion for a very long period of time. Um, it was a lonely path for a while, but I must say that in the last one year, I've seen more people get on that same path, or I've realized that many people are also on that path. As much as we have people that want to jack back from the country, we have people who are also looking inward to see what potential, what prospects um, Nigeria has. So um, honestly, it's a concern in the medical field, in the legal field, across all boards. Many young Nigerians are thinking of moving, concerned about the insurgency, concerned about the economic conditions. But also, um, I think that there are some few Nigerians that are still concerned about, you know, maintaining what I mean, what's on ground and seeing what they can do to better the narrative. It is a worrying situation. But I must say to you that there are even better Nigerians, younger Nigerians. There are still, regardless of what we are facing, very concerned about you know, getting involved in the country, Nigeria, and make sure, making sure they better the narrative. It's a concern, but I don't think it's only limited to Nigeria, in my opinion. 
It's a thing in Nigeria that we are seeing. It's very, very obvious. But I don't think it's limited to Nigeria in the African continent. So um, I, see, I, I choose to see the young people in Nigeria who have decided, who have made a resolve to make sure that they play their part instead of jackpying. Some of them have jackpied before, and they've seen the realities of jackpying. I've seen people who are abroad and telling Nigerians, okay, if you put these efforts that you are putting abroad in Nigeria, there are also chances that you are going to make the same, the same thing you are making over there. Of course, there will be difference because the enabling environment is different. But basically, I feel that, um, in my own opinion, I like to choose to see those people and focus our, 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 our efforts all the time in making sure whatever they do sees the light of the day, inclusive of myself. Well, Nigeria is counting on its young population, all eyes on exactly uh, their, it, what their involvement and participation will be in the forthcoming election, seeing that um, they make a large chunk of the registered voters. Michael Amoso is President of Icewift Africa. Thank you for talking to us tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. And happy Youth Day to you.